Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 2 and I've been doing a little bit of snooping around and I've discovered something. Uh, so, we are back here in Klamath. Now, uh, we were having a bit of problem, if you recall, in the last episode where we couldn't really save Vic because Vic needed his radio back from his shop back in Klamath here and uh, apparently it was behind a locked door. Now, apparently this is part of the Fallout, Fallout Restoration Project mod that I've got installed and uh, in vanilla Fallout 2, that door is not locked. Apparently, I'm not too sure, but th that's what I've heard. And so, uh, and I also checked the patch notes for the Fallout Restoration Project, and it said that it's got a 30% lock requirement, which means you need at least 31% uh, skills in lockpick to be able to open that door. And I'm not sure why they put such a high skill requirement at such a low level for... It's not an essential quest, but it is pretty much what the, the first thing you're told to do is go find Vic. Uh, but the patch notes did have a bit of a workaround. So I'm going to do a, a quick save here. And it did, the, the patch notes of the Fallout Restoration Project actually did mention this workaround. So it, it's not perfect in any way. But here we go. Uh, apparently this guy, the greeter uh, at the, the entrance of Klamath, he, on him, has a Molotov cocktail. So I can try steal that from him, but uh, uh, maybe going into sneak actually helps with this. But let's reload that. Now this is the only time I'm going to do this, because this is sort of a requirement and it's not really my fault. Uh, let's go into sneak, try that again. And see if we can get the Molotov cocktail off of him. There we go. Okay, perfect. So uh, now that we've got that, let's do a quick save here. And we can now use this Molotov cocktail to blow down the door in uh, Vic's shop. So, again, my throwing skill is not entirely uh, high. It's 30%, not too bad, honestly speaking. Uh, but we can go ahead and try and throw the Molotov cocktail at this door. Now, uh, I have encountered a number of crashes while trying to do this as well. So I'm going to quick save here. And if, uh, it does, if the game does crash, I'll do a cut to... to until it's working after that, but uh, a few times when I've tried to blow this door open with the Molotov cocktail, um, it has crashed the game. Now, there, a child just ran in here. Where is the child? One of Klamath's children is there. Can you, can you not be there? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try quick save here. Now let's see if we can get this Molotov cocktail working without uh, crashing the game. Let's see what happens. It busted the door open. Okay. Can I quick save here? Let's end combat. Let's do a quick save. Game's not crashing yet. It's crashed a number of times actually. I'm not too sure why. But okay. The door is open. No crashing. All right. I guess we can continue. There we go. The bookcase. Ah, there we go. So apparently in, in the original vanilla Fallout 2, you get this stuff quite easily because the door is not locked. So a stim pack. Uh, we've got a pipe rifle, some bullets, and there we go. Vix radio. And is there anything else in here? Uh, I don't think so. All right. So. Uh, also, just in case you're wondering, off-screen I did do a little bit of trading, just to, to get that out of the way. And I haven't sold my guns or anything, but I've got over a thousand, uh, one hundred, uh, cash there. So that's gonna come in handy eventually. Alright, so, uh, seems to be good. Uh, so let's go ahead and head back, let me do a quick save here. Let's head back to the den, and, alright, here we go. Now that we've got Vic's radio, we can actually, um, well, hopefully we can save Vic. And also we're, we're still looking for that book, which I'm not entirely sure where it is. No encounters, okay. Let's go to the east side. Now, uh, the book, from what I've heard, is somewhere in this area, but... Uh, so I'm pressing down shift. Because shift, uh, I think it's part of the mod. Holding down shift does uh, highlight items like that. You can see there, there's a rock there. Uh, that's not, uh... Oh! There's a whole area up here I've never looked at 
What is that? 10 millimeter ammo and there's something back there. Where am I? There we go. Let, let's just go grab that ammo first. I didn't realize there was all this space up here. Apparently there's some ammo by a car. All right, it, I just thought that was the end of the map. It's not. So I got 10 millimeter AP, is it this? Armor piercing rounds. So, okay, red are armor piercing. Blue are jacketed hollow point, and apparently green are full metal jacket. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. Um, it says here AC mod, DT mod, AC mod, DT mod. Apparently blue has the fewest modifiers. And if I compare here blue and green, it's five. DT is damage, maybe? I'm not too sure. Anyway, there's something back here. This is why I've never... It is the lavender flower, it's the book. Ah, oh, fantastic. Lavender flower. It appears to be some kind of romance novel written by Dorothy Rickson. The cover has a woman laying on a bed surrounded by a hundred flowers. It weighs two pounds. Wonderful. So let's uh, go to Vic since we have his radio now. Do a quick save here. I'm still worried about it crashing, but I guess not. Uh, Vic, hello. You haven't been to my place yet, have you? I really need that radio. Metzger's getting angry with me by the day. Uh... Can you use this radio I found? That's great, I've, I, I'll have the radio fixed in no time. Okay, I'll talk to Metzger. Let's talk to Metzger. Hello. Now what, damn it? Um, about Vic. What about him? Why are you keeping him here? Well, he's finally gotten that damn radio to work, but it doesn't mean I'm going to let him off that easy. Uh, some money? What kind of transmissions w were you talking about before? Uh, mind your own business. Okay, so I guess we have to offer money. Maybe some money might help clear things up. Sure, but it'll cost you a thousand bucks. I know I have it now, but I, was, um, I wasn't expecting to pay that much. Um, sorry, I can't afford that yet. Let's, um, let's look around first. Um, let, let's get this book over to um, Becky first, Rebecca, over at her tavern and uh, see if we get a bit of extra cash from that. It seems like every time I leave a town, I, I end up spending all my remaining money. All right, let's run in here. Children, please don't steal my stuff. Okay, uh, about that job. Did you find that book? Yes, here it is. So apparently, I never found Derek. I guess there is no Derek. Um, but yeah, here you go, here it is. I'm so glad you were able to find it, thank you very much. Here's your money. Uh, 300 experience points as well. Nice, how far away am I from leveling? Another thousand XP? Okay. So, um... That's, uh... Let me just check my pip boy here. Is buying Vic the last thing we have to do here? Free Vic from his debt by getting the radio from his house in Klamath and paying Metzger. I guess there's nothing else we can do. We've pretty much explored this whole town. And, um, hmm. Let me just talk to a couple people first and see what we can do. I'm pretty sure we have New Reno on the map. Uh, have you heard of a vault or anyone named Vic? Uh, vault City, east of here, a little north. Uh, a ways east and north. Uh, is there anything I can, else I can talk about Vic? Apparently east and north of here is Vault City and New Reno is south. Alright. Um, I guess we have to pay for Vic. I guess maybe he'll, t he'll tell me where to go after this. Alright, let's talk to Metzger, let's give him the thousand cash. Um, about Vic. Why are you keeping him here? Maybe some money, a thousand. Ah, this hurts. Okay, yeah, take it. He's yours, but get his ass out of here before I change my mind and put a bullet in that stupid head of his. All right, thank you. I've bought your freedom, Vic. You better give me something good. Thank you, I'm forever in your debt. What can I do to repay you? 
Come with me, I could use a hand. He doesn't look like he could give much of a hand. Tell me where Vault 13 is. Vault 13, there's a Vault City east of here. I trade there sometimes. I have a water flask that had a big yellow 13 on it. Do you remember where you got it? Ed's over at Vault City, he's a Brahmin dealer. He was uh, one of my many suppliers. Vault City's not too far from here. Vault City, east of here, pointed off on the map. Ah, fantastic, it's on the map. Want to go there with me? Sure, I'll join up with you. This old fart has one big adventure left in him. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty good at repairing things too, despite what Metzger says. Welcome aboard. All right, combat controls. Uh, let me ask about him first. First, stay close to me. Um, talk about your gear. I need to know what kind of weapons you can use. Well, boss, I'm pretty good with small arms. Handle almost any rifle, shotgun, most small medium pistols. Can use knives. Pretty good throwing arm. Aim's not the best in the world. It's pretty horrible. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's see what you've got on you. Do you have any weapons of any kind? No? Well, I guess you can... Um, you can have your... What was that? Uh, this pipe rifle is from... Your... Shed. Um... Yeah, just have your stuff back. That's fine. Uh, and... Do I have a knife on me? I don't have a knife on me. Let's, uh... I should probably give him a knife. There we go. Let's go back to his combat controls. Use best weapon. Use best armor. And your combat controls... Let's see. Distance... Attack who? Whoever is closest. That's fine. Distance. Stay close to me. Uh, yeah, stay close to me. You stay close to me. And stim packs when heard a lot. Okay, that's fine. I wonder how many hit points he's got. 70! <laughs> he's got 70 hit points? He's stronger than I thought. Um, okay, I, unfortunately I don't have any armor for you. Uh-huh. I guess that's that's good enough for now. Uh, can I ask him anything? Where is your friend Ed again? Vault City. He said it was a Brahmin trader, right? Uh huh. Is there anything else? That's all, I guess. Okay, you can keep that now, uh, Sulik. Just in case, do you have a spare knife? You do have a spare knife. Do you have a better knife than that? No. Okay. Give me one of those knives. And I'm going to give Vic here a backup knife. Just in case. And actually, let's give him some backup ammo as well. I don't need... There we go. I don't need that many bullets on me. Good. Uh, so now we actually have... Um, we have some stuff to sell. I could go around selling stuff. Uh, let's... Uh, what you be needing? I don't need to talk to him. Uh, Sulik is currently holding on to a... Can you all get in here, please? Okay, Sulik, you're holding on to a bunch of my guns. Can I... Take those... Is there anything else I'd like to sell? Mm. I think I'll... Well, take a couple of those as well. I'll hang on to the rest of these. And see if I can sell off these guns. Uh, Metzger's probably the last person I should sell to. Uh, I'll, I'll just sell off a couple things. Let me see if... Uh, if mom over here has any cash on her. Barter and uh, 110 plus two stim packs could be handy. There's bullets in this one. Let's uh, unload those. How much is one of these worth? 250. How about these? <laughs> stim packs are insanely expensive. Let's uh put one back. Let's take all the cash. Now, can I top this off? 
That's 370. That's a spear. I don't need an extra spear. That's 450. And how much is this worth? Five? That's 480. There we go. And we'll drop one back. So you get a stim pack and some cash. And I'll get rid of some stuff off of me. There we go. That's a good trade. All right, so we got some cash back. Uh, how much do we have on us? 300. I could head over to one more trader before I head on out to Vault City. I could also head to New Reno, but the, the quest is sort of directing me to Vault City, so I'll probably go there first. All right, let's uh, do some trading here. And uh, let's, let's talk to Tubby's over here. Uh, let's barter. What have you got on you? More stim packs, bullets, cash. Okay. Now what can I sell here? Let's uh, get rid of all of those. Let's throw a gun on. So I want the cash. Bullets are always nice, but uh, another leather jacket. How much is that worth? That's not too expensive, honestly. Let's... Uh, I could get Sulik another piece of armor there. Hmm. Is there anything else I want? How much is a stim pack here? Quite expensive. Uh, if I throw in this gun, sell all those guns for another stim pack, leather armor, and some cash. That's kind of worth it. I'm okay with that. I still have some other stuff to sell. Okay, I'll do it. Offer. Good. Now, Sulik. Uh, I want to give you a bit of armor. Actually, it was the armor he originally had. Uh, here we go. You take that. Done. And I what know... Let's see. Let's talk you about your gear. Got it, friend. What uh, you oh, it's under combat control. Use best armor. There we go. And I know part of the mod is to actually change the appearance of your companion. There we go. Sulik is now also in leather armor. Perfect. Uh, so, we can now head on out to Vault City, I think. What you be needing? I wanted to check your health. You've got full hit points, full hit points. Okay. All right, so let's head on out to Vault City. I think we're done with uh, the den. Let's do it. What? What? Why, why are we... Why are we fighting this person? This person is heavily drugged. Um... What? Why are, why? Was that just a random attack? Well, that's two coins, but... That was just a random attack, right? These people aren't hostile. I haven't upset the whole village, have I? That was just a... Okay, well, <laughs> um, I actually like that. That, that was a, just a druggie who randomly decided to attack me. Okay, um, quick save. And uh, let me re-equip my gun, actually. Is it this one? Okay, let's uh, swap to my gun. Reload. Okay, so here we go. Vic, Sulik, and myself off to Vault City. Now let's have a look at the map here. Do we have any... There's Umbra Tribe. New Reno and Vault City are marked on, on my map, but... Oh, there's Vault City. There's Unknown. Okay. Uh, New Reno is supposed to be south? There's New Reno. Wow, it's... 
<laughs> Didn't Vic say Vault City wasn't too far from here? New Reno is miles away. Vault City is not that close either. Oh well, we saved. Uh, let's head to Vault City then. All right, we've got to cross some mountain ranges. We're gonna encounter something at this distance. But we're traveling quite a long ways away. There we go. Encountered something. 2000. What is this? <laughs> that's. That's not fair. That's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 slavers. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I'm gonna try run away. Yeah, just just stab him and what? This is no way. This is not fair. Sulik dead. Sulik is at 25 hit points. I don't think I can make it out before Sulik dies. What? <laughs> um, all right. That's a reload. Uh, let's try that again. Vault City. Hopefully we'll encounter something like rad scorpions or mole rats or... We've encountered something again. What? Is it? It's... It's the traders again. It's, it's the slavers again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight of them. But I don't think we can take on this many. It's slightly easier. Spiked knuckles. That guy's got a pistol. But again, this is... Let's try fight. Let's shoot you. This, this woman has 63 hit points. Is this, just, is this just really bad luck, or...? Two shots and I die, basically. Um... Let's try that one more time. Is this really just like a scripted thing? Because that that is just... Come on, th there must be... Th that must be random, right? Because th there's no way I have to face off with that many slavers. Do you wish to encounter a band of robbers? No, I do not wish to encounter a band of robbers. Let's, uh... I like how they gave me an option there. Um... Let's just keep going then. Heading to Vault City. Come on, give me rad scorpions. Geckos. Geckos I I'm good with. I could skin... Oh, come on! <laughs> There's even more of them! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... There's 12 of them! Can I actually escape this? Sulik, so, can you not die? Maybe I have to set Sulik to... To, like, stay close to me, like Vic does. So they have to chase after us? Come on. He's dead. He's, like, one turn. Let's try... Uh, combat control. Custom. Distance. Stay close to me. Done. Let's try this. Uh, that's it for now. Quick save. I'm gonna try go to Vault City. One more time. Otherwise I'm gonna try go to New Reno. Maybe it's this terrain. Maybe if you're on this sort of mountainous terrain, it's... Uh, 
more dangerous. Maybe I should head like north and go around the mountain. Or maybe I should head to New Reno. I really don't know. Because Vault City is surprisingly far away. Maybe I, I just have to drop the difficulty level because that's just an unfair... Do you wish to encounter some robbers? No. I'm encountering something. You encounter some angry bandits. Where? I guess I didn't encounter some angry bandits. To be safe, and just to try, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna... Let's go to page two. Actually, no, we don't, we don't need to keep all these earlier saves. I'm gonna overwrite the temple at the start. Uh, let's not die. Okay, game saved. Let's keep going. And there's a... Some kind of unknown location. What is this? L Old man, you will come with us. Leave us alone. I will never support the cause of your superiors. I will not ask you again. Come now or you will be made an example of. I would rather what knowledge I have disappear with me into the grave so beautiful. This is none of your affair. Turn around and walk away. Bye? Um... Let's search the bodies. Um, well, um, that's uh, that's one thing. There's oh, there's a knife there, and they just they just walked off. Okay. Well, we're making a little bit of progress here. Let's save game again on Let's Not Die. And we were just about reaching some sort of unknown location here. Let's let's head here first. This seems to be a, a nice stop. And we're actually relatively close to Vault City and there's another unknown location up there. But let's... Uh, let's... This is pretty much placed in a, a situation where we're meant to go here. What is this place? Hmm, looks like a small farming community. Just looking around, okay. There's a slaughterhouse. Let's talk to this guy then. A small quaint farming community surrounded by vast fields of dead or dying crops. Let's talk to this trader. I don't know why I bothered to come here to trade. I guess we'll go into the general store. And... Uh, anyone here? Hello? Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. Um, I'm new here. What can you tell me about this town? Well then, welcome to Modoc. My name's Joe and I run this here trading post. Modoc? Okay. We don't have much. Just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, roses, bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just enough to produce goods to trade. Although that could change, that could all change with this drought. Alright. Um, let's see. What can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? The slaughterhouse is run by Grisham and his son Davin. It's just east of here. He makes the best damn jerky this side of the Rockies. Rose's bed and breakfast is on the north side of town. Travelers from all over come just to sample her world-famous omelette. Some say her omelettes can cure people of what ails them. Frankly, I think that's just a bunch of nonsense. Tell me about the trading post. Like I said before, my name's Joe, ran the trading post, organized trade between Modoc and other cities in need of food and leather goods. But with this drought, that could all come to an end real soon. We're getting desperate. Where's the tannery? Just follow your nose and you'll find it. Can you smell that foul stench in the air? 
That's the tanning vats just north of here. If you overlook the smell, you'll not find a better place to get leather goods. Balthas can work miracles with leather. Okay. What's the big white building in the middle of town? That's our town church. The people of Modoc built it to show their faith. Lately, there hasn't been much to be thankful for, so nobody attends the sermons anymore. Let's see, what else? Mm, I'm looking for a certain item. I was wondering if you might be able to help me locate it. Well, spit it out. Can't help you. I'm looking, f uh, uh -huh. looking for the Holy Gek. I just happen to know where it is, really. I guess we'll have some business to discuss after, after all. Mm. Business? Just tell me where I can find the Holy Gek and I'll be on my way. Yep, that's one big chip on your shoulder. Why don't you come back when that chip... <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, I don't think he's telling the truth. But, uh... Looking for the Gek. What do you want for this information? What I want is if you, if you haven't noticed yet, is a little farming community is experiencing one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season was unusually short this year and our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Um, you do know I can't make it rain, right? No, no, of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as that. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in trouble and we could use your help, okay? There's this farm on the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back it just appeared out of nowhere. Are you saying this farm just sprung up overnight? A group of us were out hunting when we noticed a new farm, but that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor only to discover that there wasn't anybody there. Go on. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built, so instead of letting the crops rot in the field, young Carl moved in. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day Carl stopped coming into town. What happened to him? Of course, we, we, we looked for him. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. He starts to tremble violently. The horror, bodies strewn everywhere, some crucified, while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So let me guess, you want me to go to this farm and find out what happened? Normally I would just leave that cursed place be, but for some reason the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get our food soon. Will you help us get rid of... Uh, get? Get, help us rid the farm of these ghosts. What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Alright, show me where this ghost farm is. This farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. He pulls out a map, points it, uh-huh. Come back when you find something. Okay. Now, um, I did forget to do... Why can't I move? Vic, get out of the way. Um... I haven't managed to do one thing, which is uh, find Sulik's sister. I couldn't. I, I really couldn't find a way to access the slaves what, at Metzger. Uh, the spirits are sometimes hard to understand. The grass is greener across the fence. Hmm. I can't talk to Sulik about his sister. Never mind. Vic, move out of the way. Okay. Um, let's have a quick look around then. What's this building? Oh, this is the church. Anything of interest? There's a podium there. A sink? I can use the sink. Couldn't do anything. Alright. What's this building? There's a lot of people here. Uh, you see a very active old man. The name is Grisham. Welcome to my slaughterhouse. You dropping off or picking up? I guess picking up. I'm interested in buying some traveling provisions. Uh, of course, of course. Let's see. For traveling, I recommend our world famous dried Brahmin strips. Won't spoil on the road and it's tasty too. Only 10 bucks a package. You interested? Let me ask you a few more questions. Can you tell me a bit about the slaughterhouse? Not much to tell, I run the slaughterhouse in Modoc. If you want something slaughtered, you bring it to me, I'll kill it for you. Make it into some of the best jerky you've ever tasted. What about hides and other part of animal? You're quick, aren't you? Well, if you 
ask, you can retrieve any part of the animal you want. Balthus will usually buy the hides, and Rose will buy whatever scraps you don't want. She uses it to make soup and feed her dogs. Okay. Drought hasn't affected your business. Actually, it's kind of helped my business. Nobody has been able to grow sufficient food for their Brahmin, so they are severely culling their herds. But that's just a temporary thing. Uh, you have to look at the big picture. With the decline in Brahmin population, my business can only suffer. Let's see what he's got for sale. He's got some cash. I could, uh... 65? Let's get 65 bucks. Always good to have a little bit of cash. Okay, goodbye. Um, wait, you look like to be a capable traveler. I don't suppose you'd be interested in making some money. Ah, a job. Uh, that depends how much, what do I have to do, and most importantly, how much. Smart as a whip, you remind me of myself when I was young. Simple. Some wild dogs have been coming down out of the hills lately looking for food. I think they find Brahmin easy prey and have been attacking the herds nightly. Wipe out their pack and it'll give you a, th a thousand bucks. Wait, you're holding something back, you old coot. What's the catch? Perceptive as well as smart. I knew I wouldn't be able to pull anything on you. The catch is that for every Brahmin you let get killed, I'll charge you a hundred bucks. I pe pay well for success, and I also charge for failure. That's a risk you take working for me. Sure, great. Head out to the pastures at night and kill the pack of wild dogs that you're atta that are attacking. Come back here when you you finish. Okay. Oh, we're doing it now. Okay, that's a uh, quick save. So this is sort of like a more advanced version of, uh... There's the wild dogs. Any items around? No? Okay. Now, how much hit points do these guys have? 25? Alright, let's head on up. Are they coming down? That's a lot of them. We gotta wait for them all to move. Okay, so this is sort of like a more advanced... Uh... Let me speed up combat speed. This is a more advanced version of what we did in Klamath. Uh, preferences. Let's up the game speed. Now, let's walk in front of here. Now, we gotta try and save these Brahmin as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Brahmin. Okay, so for every Brahmin that stays alive, we get a hundred bucks. That's not too bad. Can't quite hit them yet. More seem to be over this side. Let's wait here for them. All right, now Vic, Sulik. Let's get to killing these wolves. The Brahmins sort of move around as well. Okay, 25 hit points for each one. 7 hit points left on that, it's 2 shots. I could sort of take a shot at each one and really weaken them. Then hopefully Sulik can... Oh, they actually start running away as well, that's nice. Alright, so, we do get experience for killing the wolves, but... Uh, I mainly want to keep them at bay. Okay, taking one shot at each dog here. And it seems to cause them to flee. Oh, this one's after me. Okay. Vic did some nice damage there. Brahmin, please don't die. Okay, there's a... One down here. 
Let's step there. Take another step. All right. I don't know if the wolves are actually, are these uh, feral dogs are actually gonna run off the screen. Nice Vic. Oh, I didn't reset Sulik's combat mechanics. Okay, let's, uh, this one's right next to me. Let's stab it a bit. How many hit points do we do? Um, that's not bad. So the wool, the, the feral dogs haven't actually attacked any of the Brahmin yet. Ah, I forgot to reset Sulik's combat mechanics. I can't redo it now. Let's see. That's got 25, 25. Damn it, I missed. Ah. They do. The, the damage does build up over a while. Vic, what are you doing? Running up with a knife? Okay. Let's swap to my gun here. These wild, uh, these feral dogs all have full hit points. Yeah. Oh come on, he's right there. I, sh I shot a Brahmin. Ah oh, damn it, we lost the Brahmin. Okay, let's uh, step to here then. And I'll take a shot at... How much hit points does this Brahmin have? 11? We'll see if we can save it. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm out of bullets on that. So let's uh, stab you. Stab you again. And we can actually reload. Vic, you Okay, we at least killed that one. Now, who do we have here? Now this is... Here's a problem with... Uh, <laughs> Fallout 2's combat system. I want to shoot that dog back there. Is that the dog? Yes. Let's swap over to this. Is that the dog? Ah, oh, it's got one hit point. Oh, come on. Vic, you're not dead, are you? Okay, that's got 12 hit points. It's left with one hit point again. Okay, there, we killed that. All right, so Vic, you, you, you're not dead, right? Sulik, okay, they're doing okay. Let's uh, chase after these dogs then. Are they all sort of low hit points? There's a couple on the right which are just sort of... ...standing around, really. They're all low hit points. Alright, I guess we'll keep our gun out. We gotta chase after them. All right, so I think we did actually manage to save. All the Brahmin, but all the the feral dogs are running away now.
Can I hit that one? Okay, Vix back up. Let me, uh... Did I sell off all my other types of guns? I think I did. Oh well, we'll, we'll stick to this gun for now. Let's just uh, try and get all these dogs. Are the Brahmin following me? That's a bit strange. Okay, come on, let's... Uh, We can take five steps this direction. Three hit points, seven hit points. All right, this is really tedious because the dogs are just sort of running away from me. Can I get this one? Okay, there we go. I think they can't run too far because I think this 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 heavily wooded area is sort of a uh, blocking them from running away. There we go. Can I end combat yet? Because all these Brahmin are sort of, uh, blocking the path. Oh, I can, okay. Ah, uh, it just put me right back into combat. I gotta run around this way, because all the Brahmin blocked. Okay, there's three more dogs down there. Come on, let's go. It just won't let me get out of combat. Moo, moo, moo. Okay, so my tactic of saving the Brahmin did actually help quite a bit uh, in terms of saving the Brahmin, but uh, it made a really tedious exercise of uh, Finishing off these dogs. Alright. Die. Thank you. Ah, oh, come on. I'm out of bullets now. Well, I, I really don't want to reload. Let's just go after these guys. Like this. Still running away. Did that wolf actually escape? Oh, it came back. There we go. Looks like I killed them all. All right, so that worked really tediously but uh okay only lost one brahmin very nice let's head back there's a brahmin on the ground here according to the tag on its collar its name is bess moo this poor brahmin is injured okay uh well first things first let's are we where are we yes okay let's head back to the slaughterhouse that should be 900. Is it 900? Ho oh, ho! Leveled up as well. I knew you'd be able to handle it. Let's see now. I owe you a thousand for completing the job. And of course, one Brahmin got killed due to your carelessness. At a hundred per Brahmin, your reward is 900. Don't even bother to lie about the number of Brahmin killed. I had one of my boys follow you out and watch you from a distance. Thanks, Pop. Pleasure doing business with you. And I leveled up. Uh, let's do a quick save before I do this. Picking a perk! <laughs> I love this. Alright. So, I got awareness last time. There's a lot here though. Hmm. 
Okay, what am I looking for? A, let, I'm gonna have to go through these one at a time. Adrenaline rush, you gain plus one to your strength when you drop below half of your max hit points. Bonus move. For each level of bonus move, you get two free AP each turn that can be used for movement. You can move two free hexes each turn. That is really good. I would use that a lot. Cautious nature, you are more alert outdoors and enemies are less likely to sneak up on you. With this perk you get plus 3 to your perception in random encounters when determining placement. Perception determines your placement in random encounters? I didn't know that. Comprehension, you pay much closer attention to the smaller details when reading. You gain 50%- nah, that's not good. More likely to move before your opponent in combat. Uh... Each level of Educator has plus two skill points when you gain a new experience level. Mm. Uh -huh. You will see the reaction level of the person you are talking to when involved in in-depth conversation. Heave Ho! Plus two strength up to ten for the purpose of determining range with thrown weapons. You immediately gain a level. Kama Sutra useless. What does it actually do? I don't know. You get one extra slot in your companion limit, but don't forget that more than five is always a crowd. I'm not sure how many companions I want. With a night vision perk you can see better? Nah. Pack rat. Uh, no, I got companions. Presence. You command attention just by walking into a room. Mm, quick pockets. You have learned to pack your equipment better. Accessing your inventory costs you two action points. I don't use that that much. Quick recovery. Uh, you are quick from re recover from being knocked down. Ranger, 15% towards outdoorsman skill. Salesman, 20% towards your barter skill. Mm. Not that good, I think. Scout, improved your ability to see distant locations, increasing the size of explorations on the world map by one square in each direction. You also have a better chance of finding special encounters. That seems really good, actually. Uh, you have learned increase your dialogue options without understanding what you're talking about. Each level of this perk will increase your intelligence by 1 up to 10 for purpose of dialogue only. My intelligence is fine. Snake Eater. For each of us, you gain 25% to your poison resistance. Swift Learner. Indeed, Swift Learner. Plus 5% bonus whenever you earn experience points. Nah. Thief. No, that's useless. So, I actually really like Scout. <laughs> Honestly, that, that seems really nice, but I really like a uh, bonus move, right? This one. Two free action points that can be used in movement. So basically, I can move 12 points if I'm running away from something. And also, I can move two and take two shots. That's gonna be huge. Bonus move. Done. Now, my skills. Uh, currently, I'm struggling most with small guns. If I were to dump everything into here, how high can I get it? Because honestly, small guns, I would like it to be about 150 to 200%. How high can I get it? This will only get it to 121%. But I don't really want to increase my barter anymore. I don't think it's worth dumping expensive skill points into barter just yet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to dump it all into small guns. Done. Good. Alright, so, uh, we've been playing for a while. I'm now level 6. And I think I can take a break here because uh, we've made it to a new location. Difficultly, albeit. Uh, let me do a quick save here. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, I'm gonna take a break here. We're in the town of Modoc, and it, I've only explored these three buildings, and apparently there's a ton to do here. It's a dying town, uh, suffering from a drought. Alright, so... Ah, we made it to Modoc. I'm gonna take a break. Alright, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.